Hi guys, this is um, Apple Script Man uh, with the most basic um, Apple Script tutorial uh, there is, and I hope it'll be useful. Basically, let me just explain what Apple Script is. Apple Script is uh, an exclusive uh, programming language for just Mac. It's really easy to use, really simple to learn, and um, it can be very useful and it has lots of possibilities. Okay, so I'm just going to teach you the interface of the script editor. You don't need to worry about these two buttons for the moment, but run basically runs or executes your script, doesn't matter what, it, what you say, and compile just basically compiles and makes sure the script's okay. Now when you write up a script, you use script editor. To get into script editor, we'll be um, basically searching on Spotlight, script editor, and you can see it's the first thing, and we double click on it, and we'll get it, okay? To make a new window, you simply just go to file uh, new and we'll get this kind of window okay so let me just teach you the most basic app script command and that's beep basically it will make your computer um, have a beeping noise so we could compile we'll go blue because it's compiled and we'll free run just listen carefully beep there you go simple as that I'm now uh, going to show you some other simple uh, scripts um, some this is uh, used by everybody. It's it's really fun and it's simple. This is the say command. So this basically will make your computer speak. It will say make your computer speak saying it will say hello. Click compile and run. Hello. There you go. Your computer says hello. Simple as that. Just turn it up. We can um also get it to say like hello using Zarbox. Okay. So your computer will say hello using Zarbox. Hello. There you go. This is quite easy. Um, some other, uh, a really, really, really um, widely used uh, command is the display dialog. Now there are many different uh, display dialogs, which I'll show you later. Uh, but this is a uh, default one, and the default one has two buttons: cancel and OK. So this is what it will say um, in the display dialog. We'll just say like here is the text okay oops text and if we click compile okay and run there we go here is the text see the two buttons cancel and okay all right um i'm not going to show you uh what a tail block is a tail block basically is the fun the foundations for the automated side of apple script let me just show you what I mean, okay? Um, we're going to tell the application, I'll explain this all later. Tell application Safari open new window and enter. We'll just click compile. Now, basically, what this is, it's telling the application Safari to open and in the early uh, new window it will be new window and it will finish telling the application it's like you're a boss you tell the application safari to open a new window and end the tell it's as simple as that um, you can also write tell app and when you click compile it will change the application if we just run that to show you um, Safari is open as you can see and there you go new window right okay and now I'm going to just show you how to set a string now you're wondering what that is and it sounds really complicated but I guarantee it's one of the most simplest thing in Apple script basically setting a string is setting something to be something else so for example set x, or set x to 1 okay we click compile, x is now set to 1, and a um, a string will turn out green. We can, we can do lots of strings. We can set z to, oops, set z to 2, okay? Oh, hold on. It doesn't un understand set, uh, sets, because I didn't do a space between them compile and it's fine there you go see what I'm saying it's really simple I'm now going to introduce you 
to if and else uh, conditionals and we're going to use strings and make a simple uh, script, okay? I'm just trying to do this tutorial quickly because it's basic and I'm trying to cover a lot in a small amount of time. Okay, so we're going to set x to 1, okay? And we're going to set z to 2, okay? Now here's our if and else thing. Basically, uh, this is used in many languages, but it's really simple. Um, I think it's the simplest if and else statement you could say. Um, it's simplest in AppleScript because it's just it's just words. So basically, if we can write if x equals to z, so we're saying if x equals to z. So if one equals to two, then beep. Okay. You can see. Else, this is basically saying if it's not. Uh, then say else whoops then say it does not okay and we're going to end our if statement if I click compile oh whoops it's else if then if I click uh, compile I'm sorry, whoops. Um, basically, you just use it else. Uh, we click compile, and there you go. It will work, as you can see. And so let's press run. It does not. There you go. It does not because 1 does not equal 2. If we change z to 1, okay, and we press compile, and then we press 1, it will beep. There you go, because 1 equals 1. So you can do many things with um, if and else statements, okay? And with sets. So this is basically the beginner's guide um, to AppScript. Um, and I'm just going to write a script real quick, say, show you how to save it, and then I will end this video tutorial. So, we're going to set x to 1. Okay, and we're going to set C, for example, to 3, and we're going to set B to 1 as well, okay? So our first actual, um, our first actual code or action in our little script will be a beep, okay? And then it'll say, we'll get our computer to say beep using Zarvox because that's always entertaining and then we're gonna have a display dialog display dialog um this is cool okay and then we're gonna say if x equals to c then say it is equal okay and then we're gonna have else that means like if it's not else but we're gonna do an else if else if x equals to uh, b because it, it will do because it's uh, 1 equals 1 then we'll just uh, do beep okay and we'll end if We'll compile it. Okay, see it's all correct. And um, we'll run. There's our beep. Here's our talking. It's a beep. And I, I sorry, but I spoke over it. But um, it beeped because it was equal. Now I'm just gonna show you how you save a script. Oh, whoops. This is cool. Sorry. This is cool. This is the display dialog that we made. And the beep because one equals one. So let me just do it again because I spoke through most of it. And here's our display dialog. This is cool and beep because 1 equals 1 okay let me just show you how you save it you go to file save as or save doesn't matter um save as we can name it whatever we want i'm just going to name it script one tutorial save it to desktop now we want the file format as script not script we want it as application and save okay 
Now, what we should have is a. Sorry, sorry about this. What we should have is a. Um, there we go. Script one tutorial. A script. There we go. It looks like this. It's an application. Beep. Beep. Here's our display dialog. Okay. Press OK and beep because one equals one. There you go. It's as simple as that. I hope you like this tutorial and check out my others.